Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my fairly for the month of April. Um, I'm excited that I got this in April, so that's really good. Okay, so here it is, the theme card fell down. Okay, so this one's theme was Dare to Dream. So this is just the spoiler card on it. And let's go ahead and grab the first item. So the first item is a book sleeve here and i think it looks um pretty nice um it says we should appreciate the flower regardless of its roots and this is inspired by daughter of the moon goddess um i like it um it's really nice um i like the design on it but i do prefer character art though i do a lot of people don't like character art but this is still very nice so i do like um their book sleeves they're very nicely made so I'm pretty happy with this item. Okay, so the next thing we have are socks here. And these are inspired by Daughter, uh, Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Um, so yeah, they're just simple socks here. I don't like the design that much. Um, so yeah, but I mean, socks are nice to receive if they fit. Because sometimes they fit, sometimes they don't. So I don't know. But I don't think these are going to fit me, to be honest, so that kind of sucks. Um, there does say some words on here. Um, it says true story on it. <laughs> um, and yeah, I don't like the eyeball, to be honest. The eyeball, the eyeball in the middle of it just feels kind of creepy, but um, yeah, sucks. So there's that. The next thing we have is a bowl cozy so it'll look like this um i like the design of it but i don't need more bowl cozy this is probably like the third one that i own now that i received from a subscription box um i just don't need no more i don't even really use them ever so i think i only used them once um but yeah i just don't don't like it um and this is inspired by um uh, violet Violet Made of Thorns, which is a book they featured a couple months ago. So, there's that. I like the color scheme that I got going on this month. Everything is purple, so that's pretty cool. Um, and... So, there's the book. But, I feel like the items wise this month is kind of lackluster. Like, I don't know. Um, damn. So we also have an art print in here, which is an item, which I don't like when they do art prints as items because I feel like it's just something cheaply. Um, I like the art style of this one, but it's just like a random guy on it. Um, but that is a art print from Shatter Me series. So yeah, and then we have some bookmarks here, which is part of their um, mythology, mythological collection. And I love these. I love them because they're they have these nice folding on them, and I just love them so much. Um, this part of my favorite collectible series they have going on. So this is collectible number nine and collectible ten. Um, I love these um, bookmarks. They're always gorgeous, and the folding is beautiful. So I love these, and I hope they keep doing more of these because I just like them a lot. So I don't know how much more mythological creatures or whatever they are. Um, are left, but I like these. These are very nice. Um, and then we have our tarot cards before we get into the book now. So we have six of stars and five of stars here. Um, and these are also, um, from, um, Daughter of Smoke and Bones, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they are. So there's that. Um, I don't really like the art style this month. Like this one right here. I feel like that's really ugly. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Anyways. And also this one, the 5 of stars one, looks kind of blurry. But it might just be me. Um, I don't know. I feel like these aren't that well this month. So, anyways, there's that. And now we're down to the actual book for this month. So, let's go ahead and take it out. Um, I will create also did this book, um, so, yeah. Okay, so we have 
our fair scoop inside here as we always get um, and then we have our matching um, bookmark which matches all of the theme cards or whatever and then we have an art print for this book and behind the art print is an author letter there so yeah and then the book for this month is Silver in the Bone by Alexandra Bracken and yeah I wasn't I didn't like the cover at first I know uh, but it looks better in person I think Fairly did change the colors a bit or something but I'm not sure if there's any changes to be honest but I do like it um so there's that and then here's the spine which is an interesting choice um to put no title on the spine it's just this design i don't like that <laughs> i wish the title was on it but i mean it doesn't matter because i always display these with the edges out as you can see back here um but there's the back and then on the top spread edges they're just dark blue colors and these main edges here are absolutely amazing they're basically kind of like the coverage it took it a bit but i think that looks really really cool i really like that yeah these are one of my one of the coolest edges fairly has done i like them quite a bit so let's go ahead and take off the stuff jacket there's no reversible artwork on the dust jacket. We have a naked hardback this month with art on it printed onto it, uh, which I love this art style. I need to find out the artist name because I'm pretty sure this artist also designed the um, Inheritance Games series set that Fairly did, and I just love this art style. It feels very like manga style, but here it is open up and i think it looks really, really good i love i love it um and then we have these end pages again with the same art style inside um i like the art style quite a bit i know it's very cartoony so i know probably some people won't like this art style but i personally really love it um i think it's really cute um but i will say it doesn't really match the vibe of the book but whatever um, it is signed by the author, so I do love to see that. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. There is a map inside here, which is really, really nicely done. But I'm pretty sure that's in every single edition. So yeah, that is the book for this month and all of the items for April for the Fair Loot YA box. I'm very happy with everything. Um, for the most part, I mean, yeah, uh, the socks, well, uh, the items are fine. I'm, uh, I'm okay with everything. Uh, I don't hate everything. I just don't, like, I'm not going to get any use out of this. Um, but I mean, it might be useful sometimes. Um, I love the book sleeve. The socks are great, but I don't think it's going to fit me. Um, again, art prints, not my favorite. Um, but I do like this art style, so, um, and then one of my favorite things that they always do are this collectible for the bookmarks, are uh, my favorite, so I do love that. Um, I am kind of upset with the tarot cards, they're not my favorite, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I love, I love everything about the book, though. The book is beautiful, so I'm very happy, uh, about that, so. Oh, wait, I think my edges here might be a little damaged. Uh, I don't know if let me see if I can just get close to the camera because like right here um they're like it, it doesn't um so I think my edges are a little messed up right there so that's a little disappointing but I think I'll be okay I don't know I don't know what I should do um I don't know if I should email about them about that because it's just small but it does bother me but it's not that bad so maybe i could live with it 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I email them about that? I don't know. But anyways, um, that's everything that I received in the Fairly YA box. Let me know your thoughts about the book, the items, everything. Uh, make sure to like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.